me once again, Little Al Davis. That's right, Little Al Davis coming to you back again with another edition of Little Al Davis TV. And today's episode number two of the off-season edition of Little Al Davis TV. Today I'm gonna give you guys my thoughts and opinions on uh, the job Reggie McKenzie's done thus far in his tenure with the Raiders. And I'm also gonna give you guys my thoughts and opinions on uh, the whole match shop trade that went down yesterday being Friday. And I'm also gonna give you guys, you know, a couple other uh, nuggets that, that I have on my mind as well. So with that, sit back, relax, get yourself some Kool-Aid. For those of you guys that are Kool-Aid drinkers, I got some Kool-Aid right here. I went to the store this morning, picked up some cherry Kool-Aid, cause you know me, little Al Davis, love me some Kool-Aid. And I'm a Kool-Aid drinker, so cheers to all you Kool-Aid drinkers out there. With that, sit back, relax, and enjoy this video. All right, Raider fans, the first thing I want to talk about is obviously Reggie McKenzie and the job he's done for us thus far. Lately, there's been a lot of people in the Raider Nation that are bashing Reggie McKenzie for the job he's done. In my opinion, Raider fans, I think he's done an admirable job uh, in the last, uh, or, you know, in his tenure with the Raiders, man. It takes a man with a set of balls to take this, to, to take the Raiders general manager position, man. A lot of people tend to forget that Reggie McKenzie took on the hardest, the hardest general manager position in all of sports. And that's just my opinion, in all of sports, man. He had to come in here, first off, with no cap, with no cap space. He came in here with, with the very, very little draft picks in the first year of his tenure in 2012. Not to mention the fact that he basically inherited a team that was just, you know, a mess financially. What did he do? In my opinion, he, he had this game plan already set up and laid out. He went to Mark Davis and straight up probably told him, you know what, Mark Davis, we got to strip this thing all the way down and we got to rebuild it back up, but we're going to rebuild it and we're going to do it the right way and we're going to lay this foundation for long-term success. And yeah, as a fan, I've been disappointed the last uh, two seasons, four and 12 back-to-back -back, uh, years. But don't get me wrong, Raider fans, as I mentioned, Reggie McKenzie's gonna build this thing up and we've had a great uh, off season thus far. We're bringing in some veteran players and mixing them in with these younger guys. And like I said already, he came in here in 2012 and he didn't have a full draft. His first draft pick was a third round and it was a competent Terry round. We didn't even have a third round pick if it wasn't for the NFL giving us that compensatory pick, we wouldn't have Tony Bergstrom. And yeah, he, he's probably whiffed on a couple of his draft picks. If this was a baseball game, he'd be batting down near the Mendoza line right now when it comes to draft picks. But you know what? I'm going to give him his opportunity to redeem himself because I'm going to trust in the process and I'm going to be optimistic, man. I can see the, the, the greatness of the Raiders returning, man. We're going to return to glory. And when it does... I'm going to be that type of fan that say, you know what, I rolled with this team through the hard times, through the ups and downs, the peaks and the valleys, because that's what we do, man. That's what Raider Nation does. We stick with our team no matter what. For a long time, we've been, we've been accustomed to Al Davis, you know, bringing in guys based solely on, on potential and not looking at production. You know, he was loyal to his team, to his players, I should say. And, and we got, we fed into that, that philosophy. And now Reggie McKenzie comes in and he gets rid of these, these, these name, these big name players and big contracts. And you know what? At first I was puzzled. I was like, well, why is he doing that? But you know what? As I'm gonna let the, like I said, I'm gonna let the process work itself out. And to me, it's working. Yeah, last year he, he drafted, um, you know, DJ Hayden, who was injury riddled, uh, pretty much all of last season. So we don't know what we got in DJ Hayden. We're not gonna call him a bust. Then we pick up Melanick Watson, who's a raw left tackle. You know, he's versatile as well, but we don't know what we have in Melanick Watson either. That's what I'm saying. We're gonna give it some time, man. Latavius Murray's coming off a, a, an injury last year, the running back that we drafted um, late in the rounds last year as well. We don't know what we got in him. We know we, what we got in Seal Moore. We got a young nucleus of players that are gonna come in and make things happen and mesh with these veterans. I tell you one thing though, man. Reggie McKenzie, as I mentioned, he brought in some veterans, but all that stuff isn't going to matter unless we nail it in the draft, man. This 2014 draft is going to make or break, you know, the foundation that he's trying to lay. He's got to nail it in the draft. He's got to pick up impact players that are going to be able to come in and contribute right away. None of this, you know, sit on the sidelines and watch. We got to have in the first three rounds, and if we could pick up a gem in the later rounds, 
that's gonna be money in the bank right there, but we have to allow them to contribute. We gotta put them in games and find a way for them to be successful, man. Like I said, in Reggie, we trust. I'm drinking that Kool-Aid. I'm a Kool-Aid drinker. If you ain't a Kool-Aid drinker, you better go get some. Because once we start doing big things, Raider fans, it's gonna be on and cracking, like I said. In Reggie, we trust. We gotta just trust in the process and just realize that. And we just gotta realize, Raider fans, that Reggie McKenzie's got a plan. His plan is finally coming to fruition. No more bad contract. He was able to, you know, stabilize our finances in the last two years. And now we got money to spend, Raider fans. The greatness of the Raiders, like Al Davis said, it's in his future. And I can see us doing bigger and better things in that future, man. So we gotta support this process and we gotta support this regime. And Reggie, we trust. And if you call yourself a Raider fan and you want this regime or Reggie McKenzie to fail, then you ain't a fan. You could just jump off the Raider Nation bandwagon right now and go be a Cleveland Brown fan like that other dude. Like I said, Raider fans, Reggie McKenzie is going to make things happen for us this offseason. And at the regardless of our record, we can hold our head up high and say we're, we're making moves for future success, Raider fans. So with that, on to my next topic. Right, Raider fans, the second thing I want to talk about is obviously... Newly acquired quarterback, Matt Shaw, man. I, I like this move, man. A lot of people in Raider Nation are bashing Reggie McKenzie and the Raiders for making this move. But to me, I think it was a a, a good pickup, man. We gave up a six-round pick uh, to acquire him and, and absorb his contract. And I was I was puzzled at first, but you know what? I went on CBSSports.com and I listened to Jason Lockham for He has a little quick video. And he basically breaks down how this move essentially financially make sense for us man so before you start bashing Reggie McKenzie and saying how we overspend for you know a veteran that sucks go to cbssports.com Raider fans and check out that video by Jason Michael Ford he breaks it all down and it makes sense from a business standpoint it makes a lot of sense man and yeah we know Matt Schaub had a horrible season last year but we can't just you know look at his body of work from last year we got to look at the total body of work and what he's done you know in, in 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 his whole career and yeah a lot of people are going to say well he made it to the playoffs two years and he beat the cincinnati bongos everybody beats the Bengals. i get that but he's a veteran quarterback something that we haven't had in the last 10 years it's been a decade raider fans since we've had a, a proven commodity under center playing quarterback the last quarterback that came and made things happen was rich gannon and don't get me wrong raider fans i'm not saying you know, Matt Schaub's gonna be the next Rich, Rich Cannon and, and take us to the Super Bowl. All I'm saying is we gotta be optimistic about this move and we gotta support the move, man. The one thing that I'm up that that's upsetting me is people are saying, well, we should have brought in Michael Vick or we should have brought in Mark Sanchez. Man, you know what? We gotta stop with all that nonsense. Mike Vick, we can't afford to bring in another, you know, running quarterback at, or afford, you know, for him to get hurt, man, because all that's gonna happen is we're gonna put in our backups. And we all know what happened last year. I'm not gonna bash Terrell Pryor or Matt McGloin because of, again, they're Raiders and I'm gonna support them. But we all saw what happened last year, man. We need a proven quarterback, someone that could come in here and make things happen. We, we got, as, as fans, we gotta support him and build his confidence. So yeah, he lost a lot of his confidence last year after throwing all those pick six. You know, fans were going to his house and burning his jersey down. But we as Raider Nation, we gotta support Matt Schaub and we gotta make things happen. The last thing I want is, is you know, the last thing I wanted was Mark Sanchez to be our quarterback. God, I could just imagine, man, I, I would have nightmares if Mark Sanchez was our quarterback. Him with his fucking headband looking like a lesbian on the sideline and shit. And that butt fumble, oh my goodness. And him eating hot dogs on the sidelines after he whooped our ass back in the days. Come on now, let's stop with the Mark Sanchez and Mike Vick talk, man. We gotta support it. Just imagine if we pick up Sammy Watkins with that number five pick and we give uh, Matt Schaub another weapon to throw to. Ooh wee! Man, we gotta put him in the right position to flourish and I see these coaches making that happen, man. So with that, Raider fans, I'm Little Walt Davis. Leave a comment, subscribe, and remember to always support the Raiders no matter what. Just win, baby. I'm out.